Uh, Ariana, dear? Something on your mind? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just thinking about where I grew up and how so much has happened to it in recent years. Oh? You grew up close to the academy, right? <laughs> Actually, no. I grew up across the border in the uh, Polove countryside. Oh? Isn't... That the place that was dead? Yes. When I grew up, uh, Polave was dead mostly and dying in the rest. Would you like to tell me the story? <laughs> sure, why not? Nobody's really sure why, but Polave just wasn't suited for anybody. There was more drought than rain, the ground barely had enough life in it for carefully managed plants to grow. It's a miracle anybody lived there in the first place. Hmm. Sounds like a hard place. It was. Nothing really could live there. Um, we were destitute both as a nation and as individual people. I'm sorry, love. But things were starting to look up when the order started agreeing to se well, when they agreed to send Polove aid. That was around the time I left for the academy, and you and I met for the first time. Y y your chest was smaller then. Everything about me was smaller then, Michael. Remember? Yeah. I remember. You look so thin. <laughs> Your eyes were still as pretty, though. <laughs> yes. But things are different for Polove now, due to a rapid-fire sequence of events. <laughs> well, first, uh, Lescatier's overthrow happened. Yeah, I remember that. My family was so scared. I can imagine. Well, given how much of an investment in both time and resources Lescatier was, losing them was kind of a mortal wound. They had to cut losses wherever they could to survive. And that included places like Polove, where, where they had been providing aid in the form of money, seeds that could grow in Polove land, and food. Oh... Well. That makes sense. Also, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? None of this was your fault. Because I feel bad? I understand, but it wasn't that way for very long. Uh, another Polove native, an elementalist mage and fledgling order scholar named Safaret, was determined to restore Pol Polove's elemental energies, which somehow were in a critical deficit, but her four pure elementals just couldn't do it. So she did something nobody else around her had either the bravery or sheer insanity to attempt. What'd she do? She willingly went into a dark demon realm to corrupt her elementals. Knowing demonic energy makes elementals way more powerful than their pure states. Granted, she was attacked and transformed into a unique dark matter, but she did it. She transformed Polove into what's called a bright green demon realm, a lush place of elemental harmony and fertility. Apparently, they're really, really common in Zipangu. Wow, that's really cool. Yes, yes it is. Bright green demon realms are special in that humans can live there too without getting corrupted. Oh, that's nice. Should we move there? If you want to, I can find a spot for us to live. However, I'd like to wait until things calm down over there. 
Oh, well, okay. What's going on now? Well, the Elementalist Association and anti-monster forces are kind of at war right now over Polove, with, el with the Elementalists acting as the defending party. Oh. E everyone should just get along. M monsters aren't scary at all. I know, but not everyone's as aware of the truth about us like you are. Yeah. My Ariana's the best. It's Despite the klutziness. <laughs> and my Michael is the best, despite how shy and skittish he can be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Any more stories, love? Well, not about Polove at the moment, no. What would you like to hear about next? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know! It's the story of how we met again? The first time proper, or the first time after my transformation? After! You described that one so good. <laughs> of course. Now, what even brought you to that Lascatier speed dating event anyway? Hello everyone, and thank you very much for watching. Today we have the following patrons over on Patreon to thank for today's content. Addison Vigil, JK, Sheldon Wolf, The Reptile King, Felix the Bard, Raymond, and Eobard Thawne. Thank you very much for uh, helping support me, and please uh, check us out there, those of you who have not supported us uh, there. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, share the video, uh, spread it around, uh, whatever. Um, we have a merch store over on Teespring, uh, the link, link to which is in the description. We have, uh, yeah, that's about it on the merch front, but, um, yes, uh, please, uh, stop by, uh, check us out, um, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye now!